Exam number three covers chapter six. Here's what you need to know. First, the weather is changing. Look at my poor uh, pepper plants. Got one little one there, but they are just about spent as the uh, out with the old and in with the new. And so, this is what I want to tell you. I want to go over some of the information that you're going to need for exam number six. There are some due dates that are changing. Remember, this is the first semester that we're trying to go a little further in the book. That's to help you get prepared. We want you to have the information that you need. So bear with me as we have to kind of adjust the, uh, the timeline. Um, I do try to let you know everything in advance, but you know, that's not really practical. And speaking in terms of preparing you for university uh, style education, uh, you're probably not going to know in as much detail. It's going to be a little bit more flexible. So try to flex with me so that we can try to strike this balance that uh, the balance is between making sure you get the information you need but not rushing you so fast that you're not learning what you need. So we're trying to kind of find that balance and I appreciate you working with me on that. So let's go over, oops, let's go over the information that you need, okay? So, Chapter 6, there are some changes in due dates, and Chapter 6 has a, an exam associated with it. So, let's talk about all those uh, things together. I'm going to uh, give you this document, and in fact, it's already uploaded into the content area of PAUSE. Scroll down to the exam number 3 area. Now, let's talk about the exam first. Um, Remember that I'm trying to, the reason that I had this document up here is I'm trying to strike a balance between what you need to know, between making sure that you have the opportunity to learn what you need to know, and between progressing fast enough through the semester so that we cover all the necessary uh, information. For example, let me pause. Okay. For example, uh, today is October the third, and we are so we are entering week number six of the semester. Regardless of which class section you're in, we are entering week six of the semester. Now, if you think about it, we you know to cover one chapter a week is actually a very reasonable uh, pace. So we we really should be starting maybe chapter six, chapter seven. You know, think about chapter one being very much an overview or introductory chapter. Um, you know, but according to the schedule that I, I laid out, I'd really like for us to be moving into Chapter 7. But I spent a little extra time on Chapter 5, started into Chapter 6 a little bit. Uh, but when you're testing on Chapter 5, I realize you're a little distracted. So um, as much as you don't want me covering Chapter 5 right before your test, uh, you're also not switching gears into new content material either, if that kind of makes sense to you. So uh, so here's what I'm saying. We're in Chapter 6, let's say, or week number 6. Let's say we're starting Chapter 6, and let's talk about the due dates that I've adjusted. Once again, this is the second adjustment in the schedule, um, so that we can achieve that necessary balance. I really try not to give you exams over holidays. However, this is your, your fall break period, okay? And, you know, the alternative is that we have the test this weekend, otherwise fall terribly behind. So what I'm asking you to do is to give me one and a half hours. This is not your entire fall break, but it is one and a half hours of your fall break and sometime in that period to take exam number three. Now remember that this particular exam covers only one chapter. It covers only chapter six. Okay, um, you can find, you'll be able to find specific exam instructions just like usual uh, in the exam number three category. Okay, that will be available as of Monday morning, October the 18th. Now, I was saying that this test will cover only chapter six, but this is the last time that we're going to have an exam that covers a single chapter. Remember the first exam covered four chapters, 
exam number two was a transitional chapter. We went from descriptive to inferential statistics. And so it was very important for you to make that change. Now here we are in chapter six, and we're making another change. We're going to start to go, this is the, the part that covers discrete, but it is still very much probability distributions. And from chapter seven on, we're going to be looking at these continuous probabilities. So this is the last of the single chapter exams. And the purpose of doing the exams in this way was to help you make the transition that you need so that next we can focus on continuous probabilities. Okay? Now, the format of this exam <clears throat> is just old news to you, okay? Because part A is in pause, right, is in pause. It is only 10 questions and they are five points each. And it's 20 minutes, okay? So again, I think if you've been doing the homework, and especially since I've extended some of the due dates, this should be plenty of time. Now, as we go into part B, uh, again, this part is in connect. And it's five questions, and those are 10 points each. And you will, again, have 60 minutes for that particular portion of the exam. Part A, you will know your score immediately after completing that portion. Part B, remember that you need to you know, make a note in your calendar to check back five days later so that you can see the very detailed grading. Um, OK, I'm going to pause here uh, because my video uh, clip is about to expire. but. Um, Next, we're going to talk about due dates associated with, it, with chapter 6 and exam number 3. Okay, so I've had to edit these clips together, but now we are talking about the due dates associated with exam number three, because remember your homework is always due the night before the exam. So you'll be taking your pause chapter six quiz, and your last opportunity to do that will be Sunday, October 17th at 11.55 p.m. Now with the connect assignments, let's be really clear that there are multiple parts. So you need to be making sure that you finish all parts of the Connect assignment uh, by Sunday, October the 17th. Now, oh goodness, learning project, I'm going to fix this right here while you watch. Learning project three, remember that, oh goodness, I can't even do it. Remember that I had already extended this due date um, until the 14th of October. Well, now, what you're going to see is that I'm going to go ahead and extend that even further to October the 17th, which is again the night before your exam. Make sure that you are submitting that into the Dropbox, and when you do, and you do that successfully, pause, will email you a receipt. So what, the way that you find that receipt, go into pause, do not go into a class. Do not click our class link. Instead, before you go into any class, go directly to the email link, and you'll see that receipt. If you didn't get a receipt, then you did not submit the work. Okay? I've been impressed with the number of you that are doing the Excel extra credit assignments, and I hope that you're doing that because you're finding that it really benefits you in the exam and in the test. I mean, in the exam and in the homework. So uh, once again, you're going to have this extra credit Excel assignment. Make sure you submit that into the Dropbox. And you all are doing really good with that, OK? So I'm going to keep this positioned on the screen. Make note of this. But you will see that in Pause and in Connect, these due dates have already been changed to October the 17th. And once again, let me scroll up. That's because you're looking for your exam number three. To, uh, window of availability to be this Monday and Tuesday, October the 18th and 19th. And you know, again, uh, 20 minutes for the first part, an hour for part B. So we're only talking about, you know, an hour and a half of your time here, okay? So again, and the whole point of this is so that you can focus on these couple chapters and just History tells us that you do much better when we force you to catch up, to have everything done, and to focus on these parts. And so um, I think that this is good for you and that you'll do well. Thanks.